Welcome back to Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to play an open online round. Nine holes. Eagle City out. It's a par four. Mostly because I need to get some practice in. I've not played in a few days since the international online tournament, the EG Cup 1. Which I did reasonably well in, actually. I got um, I was in the top 50%. Just quite pleased with... Someone one bid sort of 24, 25 under. I got 14 or 16 under. Which I was kind of impressed with, but the standard of play was ridiculous. One of the good things it shows you is the uh, distribution of the winning scores. I'm just going to concentrate here. I can putt that, can't I? The distribution of winning scores is really interesting. Um, I was pretty much on the, on the halfway point of scores, but there were some people who got sort of 20, 24 under. Which is quite interesting. I quite like the format as well because it was genuinely just your skill. They levelled out all the character abilities, took away your custom clubs, gave you a known set of skills and a known set of clubs. And I think it worked really well. I look forward to playing those again. You've got to judge your actual skill level against you know, against some contemporaries and peers. I mean, I was pretty pleased to, to have qualified for the final, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't really know how many people had qualified but I was in sort of the top 20% of qualifiers I think so to be in the top half of the top 20 I'll take that it's a reasonable reasonable level to be but let's see what happens I'm not sure everybody was aware it was going on and maybe not everybody entered or understood the format so we'll see if it gets more competitive but as a yardstick just a bit short but as a yardstick to measure your progress again Against, I think it was a really good tournament. They need to put it on a on a harder course though. Eagle City's just a birdie and eagle fest. So I'd be interested to see what they do with that format. And if it did, it was as popular as they thought it would be. Oh, I've done this the wrong way. I'm meant to be over the other side. I'm not paying attention because I'm talking to you guys too much. Never mind. That was a fair bit of wind here, isn't there? Okay, let's take this steady. Oh, hopefully... Did I back off that enough? Uh, the tree might help me out there. That's probably okay. So third hole, seeing him some decent albatrosses from me. Just under 100 to go. Fair bit of wind, mind you. Have to get it up and get it down. I did not read the wind well. I think one of my weaknesses is still dealing with the wind in light wind and reasonable conditions. I'm still I'm still pretty good. I mean, it'll be interesting to see if they have a an international tournament on a on a wet wet day. How well I do. Oh yeah, nice eagle. Or whether everybody struggles in those conditions. It's a fourth hole. This is my second go at this, by the way. I got to about the sixth, and then my phone rang with a work call, which I had to take. So I had to stop the recording, which is why I'm, I've already got some hole bonuses here. Wow, this is really into the headwind, isn't it? I wasn't doing too well last time, if I'm honest. I think this hole specifically I didn't do very well on. We'll see if we do any better this time. I've ended almost in exactly the same spot. Uh, history repeating. Right, this is really into the headwind. It's going to pitch right. Okay. I'll probably over pitch that, if I'm honest. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's a 12 and a half footer. A little bit across the green. It's quite flat. Hit it firm. No, not great impact. That's probably you. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. You're always better if you leave it high side. It's a par five. Certainly is. So I get the tailwind this time, which is good. Ah, do we want to go for the skip here? Yeah, why not? Eh? Why not? Suzuki likes it. 
I like it. Go on, go on. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Just stay off the semi rough. Yeah, it's okay. Not the straightest of lines in, but I'll take it. Oh, massively overpitched that. Fluff the impact. Could go anywhere. Probably go near the pin, though. No, my luck. There you go. Dreadful shot. Got it within six feet. Don't let the eagle slip. Nuts. Okay. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Downhill. Take the eagle. Thank you very much. Absolutely no right to get that one. So I'm on course for 11 under. Not quite my record, but my record included an albatross. It's a par four. Uh, the wind might make things a bit more interesting. So I've got a headwind here. So we're going to have to give this the um, the full treatment. I'd be interested as well if, if anybody oh, has played the um, the EG Cup one. What they thought of what you made. Of, ah, I did this last time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, lucky. What you made of it, what you thought of the format. And indeed what scores were. So feel free to, to leave it in the comments because I'd, I'd be quite interested on in how other people did. But I'm certainly going to get some practice in, see if I can do better next time. And I think on a more difficult course, it might um, kill some of the ridiculous scoring. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, look at that. I've got me putting, got me putting stroke going. So three holes to go. Right, so this is over the shoulder. Okay. So we're going to stand this up into the wind, see if we can hold it. Yeah, line's a little bit left. A little bit right, sorry. Pace wasn't bad. Line was pretty good. Eleven footer. Bit of a slope. Makeable, eh? Makeable. Oh, just, just backdoored at him. So we're still on for that eleven under. If we don't lash it up. Now, yeah. this is probably, probably drivable. Let's have a go. Ah, fluff the impact. I could go anywhere. It's going to go right. Is that better than left? Get a dance. Oh, go on, go on, go on. It's on the fairway. Okay. So back into the wind. Oh, it's going to kick right too far, isn't it? I didn't read that at all. Oh, yeah, overpitched. Not even on the green. Okay, I need to hit the flag here. I've never actually putted from the fairway. I've putted off the fringe. Yeah. Under did it. I've got a bogey there. Ridiculous. I know it's going to be a part. It's going to take us back to 10 under, isn't it? Assuming I can birdie the last. I need to concentrate. That's what I need to do. So, it's going to be about there. And again, we'll try and hold it up in the wind. Bravo. Line's okay. Good, good. Weight's pretty good. It's a six foot for birdie. For a birdie. Pretty straight putt. Yeah. It's a ten under. Could have got eleven if I'm honest. That par there is just looking at me, isn't it? Yeah. Right, 
No, it's going to do this thing again where it doesn't see the um, doesn't see the server. I've had a lot of this recently. No, it got it in the end. So I got ten under, which is looks like top ranking so far. Whether that will last the day, I'll see. And let's just see what we get. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll play a few more rounds and, and hopefully bring you a bit more tournament play. Oh, I've got the Lucky Chance reward. Ah, gems. I could do some gems so I can up my clubs. Great. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.